I'm live in Fort Mill at the popular and Springs close Greenway. It is officially back open the first time it's been open since the state of South Carolina put its stay at home order in effect. And if you come out here, you're going to have to adhere to social distancing guidelines. Meantime, other businesses elsewhere in the state preparing to reopen. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly joining us with that portion of our coverage this evening. As South Carolina's retail stores were given the green light to open last week, today a new push to allow hair salons the same freedoms. To tell them that, you know, we're going to leave the big box chain stores wide open and that, you know, you can stand in a line with 20, 30 people in one of those places, but you can't go get your hair done one on one or your nails. Um, is is completely it makes no sense. State Representative Stuart Jones of Lawrence says he felt compelled to fight for local small business owners after this petition went viral, receiving more than 500,000 signatures. Standing on the steps of the state house today in Columbia, Jones says he plans to bring the signed petitions straight to the governor's desk. They don't want to ask the government for any assistance. They want their freedom. They want to be able to run their business and run their lives. This as the state continues to take steps forward. On Sunday, this Dreamlifter aircraft touched down at the Greenville Spartanburg Airport after departing China, delivering more than one million surgical face masks. The masks will be distributed to Prisma Health, the largest health care provider in this state. In South Carolina, we want to recover that competitive advantage that we have had in prosperity for our people and make it grow and make it stronger. And this today is one step in that direction. Taking small steps forward while remaining apart. Ashley Daly, WCNC Charlotte. Department stores among the businesses now being allowed to reopen here in South Carolina. Later this week, Charlotte-based Belk is planning just to do that, to reopen. A, a, a company spokesperson uh, says that Belk will open all stores in the state this Friday, May 1st. Those stores will have reduced hours from noon to 6 each day. They will also be limiting the number of customers in the store.